What's up guys? It's Connie Kenneth. I uh, I'm so happy to be back. So I hope you're doing great. I hope you have been doing great. I hope everything on your side is doing awesome. Um, and that, you know, today is on a Thursday and you know, the weeks really, really go by very fast. So I hope you're fine. Okay. Because I'm fine as well. Um, you know, I've been MIA for all week, <laughs> but I'm fine, but I'm back again because I thought about something, um, that, you know, can help you um, in whatever situation that you're going, you know, going through right now. So if you want to listen to that, because I want to tell you, do not, please do not make difficult times in your life, you know, forget your blessings. Okay. Because we tend to focus so much, um, on what's not going right and forget what's going right. So that will be my message for you guys today. Uh, because, um, it's important to know that, you know, that, awful job that terrible job that you have right now is another person's uh dream okay it's the dream for the unemployed okay so as much as you don't love your job or you think you can do better and so on which is okay which is normal all right but just remember that you are blessed with that job and it's just a stepping stone to a better one in the future. So do not complain about it because so many people would love, the unemployed would love to have your situation. They would love that job because they're struggling every single day to feed their children. They're struggling every single day, you know, to find a place to sleep. You know, every day they have to hop from one family member to, to the next. They have to sleep on the street. All those things, guys please let's not forget that because we tend to forget that. Okay. And also look at it like this, your, your smile, <laughs> you know, your smile, uh, is, it's the dream of the depressed as well, you know, um, because you probably you're surrounded by your family, your friends, uh, you know, you always find a reason to smile. They're always things here and there that make you smile but let's not take that for granted as well because that person who is depressed that person who's going through difficult times in their lives then that's what they're you know they're looking up to like oh my goodness she how does she do it why does she always like look at the so just be grateful for those simple things in your life you know um that you might be going through right now because um yeah it's it's just it's we tend to forget it okay so it doesn't mean that because because you're going through some rough patches right now that you cannot make it you know there's always light at the end of the tunnel there's always um you know there's always hope you know where there is life there is hope so let's not make difficult things in our lives circumstances in our lives situations in our lives uh just make us forget our blessings because we tend to actually just admire people comparing ourselves you know to other people you know comparing ch uh, my chapter one to somebody else else's chapter 10 no it doesn't work like that and we need to change that mentality we need to uh look at things differently and we need to um appreciate the blessings that we have and you know because we we're human so when we when we pray for one thing once we get it we always want to have another one you know um we we want something else immediately we don't really take the time uh to actually appreciate what we we've just had and we already want another one okay so let's not forget those simple things in life and just their blessings okay in whatever situation you are right now look at your children they are your blessing so just appreciate those simple moments with them do away with the screen you know just play with them football just appreciate and try and bring out you know the best part of a situation because when we start comparing ourselves to other people it doesn't help remember that your competition your competition is not your friend your neighbor your family member your boss no your competition it's between you and yourself what do i mean I mean that you should strive to be a better person than who you were yesterday, who you were one year ago, five years ago, 10 years ago. That's what you should strive. So let's 
stop comparing ourselves to other people because that will just discourage you and you feel like you're at a slow pace but it's okay it's always like a step at a time things don't come overnight you know it takes time it takes hard work it takes a lot of energy and that's what you should just tell yourself you should just every single year sit down check what you did the previous year set goals objectives for the next year and so on and so forth so your only competition should be yourself and learn how to celebrate every single step every single step is very important because once you appreciate it and what i do personally is i write them down i write down everything that i've achieved everything that i've um i failed and why and then i analyze and then i try to do better i try to adjust because i've you know once you realize that your competition is yourself you know you're only in competition with yourself that changes a lot a lot of things and remember so many people are envying you know that bike that you're riding you know it's someone is like oh my goodness i wish i had that bike you know um that is your blessing you know your you can walk to school that is your blessing you know uh and so because someone who's disabled they're they're like oh my goodness if only i had you know if only I could walk. So let's appreciate the little blessings and also keeping in mind as well that the only competition we have is ourselves. We should be accountable to ourselves, you know, because when you start looking at what Jack is doing, what Mary is doing and like, oh my goodness, I wish I had. You're wasting a lot of energy, a lot of time on things that don't matter and things that will not help you grow. But, you know, you can always inspire yourself, you know, with, you know, ideas, especially in business and stuff like that. You can always inspire yourself. But the the aim is not to waste your energy being a crybaby and trying to just saying that, oh my goodness, uh, I never make it. it it's, oh, it's human, but it shouldn't take more than 10 minutes it'll take more than a day at the most uh and then after that everything else will just you know will just fall into place and because you're worth it you're capable of doing it and yeah so guys please 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 you know just count your blessings i'm sorry it's shaking but uh, i'm trying to hold my phone um yeah so count your blessings don't forget that in either way as long as you're breathing today as long as you know you're healthy you know count your blessings those simple things in life that we tend to ignore or we take for granted are very very important and other people are envying us for those small things okay so i've already told this uh, example before you know uh, of a person who is um, a disabled person and marrying a person who's walking the person who's walking and marrying the person with a bike the person with the bike saying oh my goodness i wish i had that uh, that scooter the person with the scooter oh my god i wish i had that car the person with that car is like oh my god i wish i had my private jet you know the person with the private jet, like oh my goodness i had my other person with a boat so let's stop being unsatisfied people uh, because by the end of the day what truly truly matters are just the fundamentals of you know being loved and you know and just being appreciative of the things we have and you you real you will realize or you will realize that the minute you start appreciating the things that you have today then other things will follow and then you will it's just it's changing the perspective that's a thing just changing the perspective you know instead of seeing a six just go on the other side you'll see a nine okay but the nine is the better side of life you know um you know just look everywhere left right just don't look you know i don't know to the right maybe it's just raining on my right and on my left there is sunshine but i'm only concentrating on the dark side of things then it shouldn't be like that just look at the you know just look at the the blessings that you have and let's not take them for granted because those blessings are there to remind us that we've come so far and we're going somewhere else and you know those things you know it's just a step at a time things that are meant to be yours will be you know will you know they will be yours so let's stop stressing so much about them and forgetting that our we are already blessed so much by things that are around and we just have to sit down acknowledge those things um and yeah and let's stop letting difficult moments in our life uh, make us forget our blessings so that would be my message today okay don't do that okay don't let difficult situations events whatever the case may be in your life um make you forget 
uh, your your blessings. So that was my message for you guys today. I hope it helps somebody. I hope it helps you change a perspective or whatever situation you might be going through right now because you're worth it and you will make it. So just remember, count your blessings. Keep counting them, okay? Until next time, it's your girl, Connie, and thank you so much for watching. Bye. <laughs>